What's up, everybody? This is Todd from the Tay and Todd podcast. Today, we're breaking down Trey Lance's downfield passing. We're going to look at about 20 plays from 2019 and 2020 and really get a feel for how he is throwing the ball 30 or more yards down the field. We're going to look at accuracy and touch, how consistent his mechanics are, how he is under pressure from a clean pocket, and what routes he really throws well. Okay. So I feel like his accuracy is pretty consistent, especially from a clean pocket. It's when there's pressure, when he's forced to speed up his mental and physical process, that's when the inaccuracy starts, and it's because his mechanics are less consistent then. So in my mind, going into the NFL, he really just needs to become consistent with his mechanics, really when there's pressure. Otherwise, he is typically pretty consistent, and sometimes he's able to make some good throws even without the perfect mechanics. But still, that's something that needs to be fine-tuned. But he's got a rocket arm. He can make all the throws. And so we're going to get into that now. If you enjoy the video and if you enjoy this kind of content, then like, subscribe, and share. Comment below. I appreciate you watching. Follow us on Twitter at Podcast, And check out our podcast. It's on Google, Spotify, Apple, everywhere podcasts are. You can find our podcast. And a special shout-out to the other YouTube channels that put these videos together where I was able to take that content and produce this video. So I'm gonna put all their channels below and be sure to subscribe to them as well because they really do some really good stuff. So, Trey Lance downfield passing, let's get into it. All right, first downfield attempt of the season, 2019 against Butler, and it does not get better than this. Look at this perfectly placed throw down the field. Let's see that one more time. Just an absolutely beautiful throw. This is a shot play. You know, uh, North Dakota State, they're great at running the ball. That's what they do. You got base cover, too. Base set from Butler, two wide receivers. And they're set out to stop the run. And you'll see that here. You know, how, how much these linebackers, safeties, they're all on run, right? They're all king run. So as long as the wide receiver on the outside wins, you've got a touchdown. And really, you've got a couple options. You could throw it here, which he does. You could throw it down here. He gets open too on a post route. The throw is just phenomenal. Let's look at the protection. You know, it holds up, right? Clean, perfectly clean pocket, just no penetration right there. And then you'll see mechanically, when we see Justin Fields, we see him take that big hitch. He takes some pretty wide hitches when he can, when he has the room. With Trey Lance, we don't see that, right? Just a slight hitch, the slightest of hitches. One thing I really like about him, he clearly works hard on his ball fakes and getting his body around, his head and his body around the play action. Um, if it stops skipping here. I love the way he, he fakes the ball, and then I love the way he gets, see the way he sticks the ball out there, and then I love the way he quickly gets his head around, his whole body around to make this throw. And you'll see, just generate that. The ball, you know, that that release drops down pretty low on this attempt, 55 yards in the air. But he twists that body and he gets that ball downfield. Boom. Perfect throw. All right, second quarter still turning into a blowout, and this is a, a phenomenal throw. It looks good from that angle, but I'm going to show you how much better it, it is from behind the quarterback. Let's look here. So the first thing I want you to see is is watch him go from left to right. He's reading this defense out, okay? This is not an easy just, you know, one read and go. No, he's reading this defense out. Another thing I want you to notice, quick release. I love his release. It's very quick. Watch it from here. Got a quick release. Another thing I want you to notice, he puts that ball perfectly over the top. Okay. Now, if he throws this ball on a line, if he throws it on the line right here, you know, to where, where the guy is headed, that defender is not in the screen right now, but he is, he's, he's coming. He may be able to make a play on that ball, maybe an interception, maybe tip it away. Lance sees that guy underneath and he puts this ball over top of him, a little back shoulder, perfect spot for his guy to go up and make a catch. Another reason back shoulder, this guy's coming now. He's not, he's not going to get there. But still, you're, you're keeping it completely away from him. Just just really good accuracy, touch, and awareness. Another thing I want you to notice, watch his body. I love this. Watch him go from left to right, not just with his head and his eyes, but with his body. Watch it. Left, left, 
right. See that? And more middle than right. Watch that. I love that. Uh, mechanically, I think he does some things really well. There's areas he needs to improve on certain plays, but this is really good. And this is, you know, it's cover three is what it looks like to me. And so what he's doing is he's reading it out left. And he's really probably looking off that safety more than anything, trying to keep him over here because he knows he wants to come back over here and hit his guy. So he's keeping his safety over here, looking him off. And boom, delivering this ball. Awesome throw. Really awesome throw. Start of the second quarter and play action. This one, there's a hesitation and just this ball, he puts it out of bounds. He's late. He just hesitates. Tough to see exactly why he hesitates. No reason uh, from what I can see. He's got to just, he's got to let this ball go when he was originally going to put it right on that back pylon. The hesitation. And you see, again, we talk about him not taking that hitch. He, he does that slight bounce, um, you know, out of his, out of his play action. Again, I like, I like the way he is out of play action, but the hesitation there. It's interesting to me that you don't see him take those hitches, though, throwing downfield. He doesn't need to uh, to get this ball where he wants to put it, right? This ball is about 50, um, 40 yards, an easy throw, but the hesitation here. Too far. First and 10, trying to score before halftime, and this is just an absolutely... Beautiful, beautiful throw, perfectly placed in the receiver's arms. This should have been a touchdown, honestly. This should have been a catch and run. He kind of falls when he when he's when he's going for it, but just perfectly placed. This is a straight drop, and you see Trey Lance is kind of covered up by that scoreboard, and there's no replay, so we can't see it from another angle. But it's a straight drop, and it's always so interesting to me again that he doesn't take that hitch up in the pocket, but he can float that ball there. I mean, this is 48 yards in the air that this ball is traveling, and he's he's showing that he doesn't need that forward momentum that you get, you know, when you take those steps up, those hitches up in the pocket. He can just do it, just torque velocity from his lower body and his arm strength and put it out there perfectly for his wide receiver. Solid pocket. It's a fade route. It's a fade route, and it's tough to tell exactly what the defense is trying to do. I can tell you one thing. I think they're trying to stop the run because they've got four down, and then they've got three underneath, and then they've got four. I mean, everybody's within 12 yards of the line of scrimmage. It's it's tough to tell exactly what they're trying to do, and this is just a fade. It's another slot fade. We saw it earlier, and he knows. I mean, he sees this and he knows probably where he's going immediately. This guy is is was if he's supposed to be some sort of safety, he's he's not getting over here. And at the start of this play, you know, number two is beat. So he reads it out and just he knows where he's going. He knows he's gonna win and just floats it out there perfectly. Should be a touchdown. It's a perfect throw. Here we've got another fade from the slot position, and he's able to get that foot in, and, and that's a touchdown on this one. Uh, Trey Lance puts this right where it needs to be. I'm sure there's some receivers in the NFL who could get both feet down on this one. Honestly, you look at where he's throwing this from, about the 26, and it's landing right in the back. So that's about 35 yards. And, you know, just with the timing of the play, he's throwing it right as soon as he hits the top of his drop off of play action. He's throwing it quick. This is the... This is where the ball needs to be. It's it's really just based on the timing of the play running out of field, really more than anything. So he's able to get that foot down and get a touchdown. It's a really it's a beautiful throw. It's a beautiful throw. Um, you know, you could say he could put this ball slightly more towards the pylon, float it up just a bit more, float it a bit more towards the pylon there, and then it'll be easier in terms of keeping your feet in bounds because like I said, the receiver's running out of field to work with here. But he makes a good play. Touchdown. South Dakota State now. Eighth game of the season. Wheel route from the tight end, and it's, and it's just underthrown here. Right? Uh, he's he's throwing this kind of off of some backward momentum. And I think he's got to, you see, he kind of he takes that big step back, and he doesn't seem to recover from that. Just takes a big step back. See that you don't want to get that wide. 
You see how wide he is right here? It's almost like he's doing a split. You don't want to get that wide and then throws that. Just it comes out a little short. And I think just the slight mechanical tweak that needs to happen there. He kind of throws this. You know, it feels just a little off balance and uh, and uh, and backward as opposed to forward. So underthrown and, you know, just can't come down with the ball there. I mean, you know what I say? I prefer underthrown over overthrown, but really I'd prefer perfectly thrown. Third and 25. Now, this is a bad one. I mean, just completely sailed out of bounds and, and a bad decision. He's trying to force and press the issue, get a first down. You don't need a first down. Just try to get in better field goal position, right? At that point, third and 25, you know, against the goal line. You don't have the whole field to work with anymore. And I think his his mechanics and everything is sped up because of that pressure. And you see off the left edge, there's pressure coming. And he sees it and he's feeling it. So he's just trying to get that ball out of there. And he just sails it out of bounds. It's good that it went out of bounds or it's probably an interception. But I think here, and I don't think he's throwing this ball away because he, you know, he's a mobile guy. He can step up in the pocket if he has to. He could step up and then go this way. You know, just hit one of your check down options uh, and get some extra yards, make it an easier field goal. So it's a bad decision, and it's a terrible throw out of bounds. And I tell you what, they love this slot fade. I'll be honest with you, I love the slot fade. Um, Madden, I've scored a lot of touchdowns on the slot fade, okay? Get some speed out there at that position, and you've probably got a mismatch, and that's what you've got here. This ball is perfectly placed along the sideline. Perfect. Just perfect. 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 Dropped. But again, perfect placement. Um, you know, you, you got this single high again. A slot fade against single high. That's that's exactly what you want. Against single high man, a uh, slot fade can be, you know, a really, a really big play for you. Perfect throw here by Trey Lance. Goes from middle, keeping that safety there, right? Eyes middle, keep the safety, and then throw. And he and he really does throw again. He throws a a nice deep ball that drops. It does. It's not flat. It's not. It's not on a on a wire. It drops. It's like a rainbow. So a really really nice throw. Watch this placement. Jeez, that is perfect. Just not able to bring it in. And it looks like maybe some interference. Uh, not pass interference, but a good play by the defender. Not sure if, if that affected it or not. I, I'm going to say no. Should have been caught. Perfectly placed ball. Going to go take a shot off of play action again. And I think this is actually a really good just jump ball. right? It's 50-50 jump ball. Give your guy a chance. He's going to get called. Uh, get the call for pass interference. I like just watch how watch how how high this ball travels in the air. I mean it, it almost leaves the screen there. It does leave the screen there for a second. That's a good jump ball. Jump ball, 50-50 ball, give your guy a chance is is floated up, let him get his eyes on it, let him jump up and high point it. Um and I think the interference really doesn't allow him to get up. He kind of looks like he gets shoved to the ground there. Not sure what that red thing was, but uh, we can get a better angle on it here. So it doesn't really get a chance, and he, he kind of looks like he misjudges the ball some. But I think it's a, I think it's a well-thrown jump ball. And again, I like his mechanics and the timing on this is good. Uh, his lower body mechanics that I'm talking about really just watch play action and then just just burst out of that play action, you know, with urgency. Boom, throw. I like that. Very good. First and 20. Again, we're taking a shot off of play action. That play action is highly effective because of the strength of their run game. Overthrown. All right, I'm going to show you why it's overthrown. We just His last throw, I said, the touch, the way the ball drops in there, this is the opposite of that. And, and it's because, again, so I like that bounce off of the play action. I like the urgency. I like to hit that step and then just bounce back. But he he it's it's not I don't know if it's quite a hesitation, but there's just a middle part of that. It's like a middleman and we need to cut out the middleman. 
That's the middleman. This is the middleman. Let's get rid of this part of this throw and this play. All right, if we go straight from, and let's see if the skip it does. If we go straight from this to this, you see what I'm trying to say? Go straight from that bounce off of the play action, hitting that top step to throwing this ball, then I think he's floating it out there perfectly, and it's dropping in there a couple yards down the field. But he has that slight hesitation, and then he throws it just, you know, a lot of arm in that. Not a not a lower body and use that strength from your lower body to get that ball out. He's just using that arm strength, which he clearly has. But it's more than just arm strength. Again, touch, accuracy. So that middle part of this is, is what's the problem. Last time, last play, we didn't have that. We got to cut that out. It's not a it's not a problem. It doesn't appear to be a trend, but it was here on this play. Throws off the timing. Throws off the rhythm really more than anything. It throws off the quarterback's rhythm. If he just hits that step and then bounces and then throws, I think he'll he'll make a really good throw down the field. Youngstown State, and this is a perfectly placed ball down the field. I tell you what, he can. He can really make them drop right on the receiver. Takes that step, has that bounce. This time we do see that hitch, right? We we didn't necessarily see that too much to this point. There's a there's something in the middle there. It's kind of interesting. It's 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 that lean back, right? He's winding up to throw, and this ball is about 55 yards, right? He's throwing it from about the 25 to about the 20. So about 55 yards there. I hope that math is right. Tell me if it's not in the comments, but he's winding up to throw this and it's a perfectly thrown ball. That 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 middle kind of lean back in the middle of the hitch and the throw is kind of interesting to me. I don't remember seeing that to this point. Because that kind of that motion is happening as you take that hitch forward and maybe that's where that comes from. That's not natural for him for him to take that hitch. And so that's why, you know, it should all be one motion. It shouldn't be hitch and then lean back and throw. It should all be one motion. But, hey, it works for him here. He makes a really good throw. Not worried about anything like that. He can clean it up or not and continue to make perfectly accurate throws down the field like this. Here we've got another fade route. They're lined up tight out wide to receivers. And this ball is again perfect. This is a this is one of his best throws consistently. Is this fade route to the slot, right towards the sideline, and it's really placed perfectly. Now you may be talking about that that defender who's coming up from behind him and saying throwing that ball away from him. Truthfully, that defender has no business being here. You know, I think he really just reads it. Maybe he's seen it on film. You know, he's supposed to be right here in this general area at least, but he breaks on this ball and actually he's almost able to get there. Again, Trey Lance, this guy is not supposed to be there. He's not accounting for that. But he still gets that ball there perfectly. It's got to be caught. I mean, this is, again, a really, really well-thrown ball. He he intentionally throws it outside and away. And you see the way it drops, and he's, he's throwing it away from this guy towards the sideline. He wants it to drop in right where it did. And it was a perfect throw. Perfect throw. Again, this is this is a straight drop, no play action, which we don't see him do a ton. And he does have to speed up his mechanics here because of some pressure that's coming. And, and again, perfect throw. I like this. Just a little three-step drop, three-step drop, three-step drop. Eyes middle, hold the safety, hold, 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 and throw. Everything happens quick once he decides to throw. Lower body. Uh, arm, eyes, head, they're all in sync. Feet, all in sync. Boom. Just a flick. I love that, man. Perfect throw. Watch this one. He said, I'll make up for it. Boom. 50 yards down the field. Just perfect, perfect, perfect. Dropped right in. Man, that's a beautiful throw. I love this. Wow. Wow. You watch his lower body. So play action again. Get that around. And and you can just see the explosion from his lower body. Once he knows he's throwing that ball, 
His legs, his hips, and his arm all moving at the same time. I love it. I love it. You can see the explosion. The just Man, awesome. This is a really, really good throw. Awesome. And I can't tell you exactly what the coverage is. Looks like it may be two or four. So I can't tell you exactly how he's reading this out since I don't have all 22 to work with. But, but he read it out correctly. Third and seven. This camera angle is so tight. I cannot tell you exactly what they're running. Looks like maybe cover three. And this one is just out of reach. Just out of reach. Actually, I'm going to go with cover two here. And I'm thinking that that's the Tampa middle linebacker getting back there. So if I'm guessing correctly, you've got this guy who's probably lined up in tight, either in the slot or inside of that, and he's just running right over the middle. And you've got a vertical route over here, maybe a vertical route on the other side, something to hold the other safety. And this, you know, he's running past the linebacker. He's going to win that 10 times out of 10. So it's read out properly by Trey Lance here. But the throw, not great, obviously, overthrown. And here, again, he hits that top step. And he needs to take this step forward here. Take it forward and throw. Instead, he takes a bit of a step back. And let me go back one more time and you'll see it. Three-step drop, go forward. He takes a bit of a step back. There's a half second there that causes the problem here. You know, uh, there's a bit of pressure he's feeling, speeds everything up mentally especially. And so that's what I think affects this throw and doesn't allow him to get the proper touch. Throws off the timing some. Right? It's all about timing and rhythm. So if he goes boom, up, and then throw, I think he's hitting this, and it'll be a nice rainbow drop right on him. But he takes a bit of a step back, and then he's just trying to wing it out there, you know, largely with arm strength. And so that's where the inaccuracy comes from. We're in the semifinals now, Montana State. And this throw, wow. Let's just let's just do some quick math. All right, where is he now? He's at what is that? The 16-yard line, right? He's at about the 16-yard line throwing this ball. This ball lands at the what is that? The 23, we'll say 22, 23. So how many yards is that? Right? That's about 34 plus about 25. 60 yards in the air that this ball travels. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. He put a lot on this ball. And it should have been caught from what I can tell. It's tough to see exactly if it went right. It looks like it went right through the receiver's hands. Again, we're going off a of play action. Boom. Now I think he sits in this pocket a little longer than he could have. Maybe he doesn't have to throw it 60 yards, but geez, it's good to know that he can. I, I, I'm i not going to, this this looks like a catchable ball to me. And I think he reads it out fine. I'm fine with taking that shot. I mean, it's first down. You've got your check down here who will get you yards. You've got this crosser here who will get you yards. But again, you've got you've got this guy open and you make a good throw. I don't, I don't hate taking that shot there on first down early in this game, being aggressive. And just, geez, now we know what kind of cannon he's got. It looks catchable to me. Maybe it's a hair out of reach. I tried to find another angle and couldn't find it. But, man, what a throw. The kid has some arm strength. And that ball touches down right about the 21, so over 60 yards in the air. Third and seven now. And we're not used to seeing this in terms of accuracy. Uh, really in terms of inaccuracy from Trey Lance down the field. You know, puts this thing a couple yards out of bounds. And you can see why, right? He throws it over there. I mean, you can tell from the angle that he throws this ball, he just throws it too far left. Mechanically, I think his left foot may be slightly too wide. His front foot, that is. His front left foot, which is driving that direction of the ball, leading where this ball is going. And so there you go. You know, and maybe that's feeling a bit of the pressure. I think he can step up more here. Boom, step up, step up, and then throw this ball, that front foot, a bit too wide, and just throwing it. You can just see he lets it go a little bit too far outside where his hand ends up. Third and 
Now, one thing that seems to be the case is when Trey Lance misses something downfield, he makes sure he makes up for it. Watch this one. I, this wow! I I really I really really like this throw. I, that's man. That's I really like that. I mean, that's on the numbers. That's that's right. That's that's perfect. That's just catch with your hands and go. Forty-five yards down the field, and look, they're trying to they're trying to disguise some coverages here. You know, it looks like cover two. It looks like it or cover four. But right before the snap or right as the snap is happening, you're going to see this guy right here roll down and be responsible for this flat zone. So he's processing that, right? He's reading that out. And it looks like he's looking here and then it's going to change his eyes and put them up field. And man, just let that thing rip. You know, receiver's just running past, uh, you know, he just runs past him. It's easy. He just runs right past him. But again, not disguised by the coverage. I mean, not disguised, not fooled by the coverage here and just letting that thing rip. Perfect, perfect, perfect throw. It no, doesn't have to slow down at all. Just catches it on the move and just go. Touchdown. Really, really nice throw. Again, straight under center. It's drop. And, you know, he takes a bit of a wide step here. Again, left. Again, you see where he is. And that's what leads me to believe his his feet right here lead me to believe that this is where he's planning to go with this ball, that he's reading it kind of low to high. But when he sees this right here, that's what takes his eyes upfield. That's what I think is happening here. So he adjusts that foot, puts it upfield just a bit more, and just lets this thing go. And I like that. I like that he doesn't just throw it from this, right? If he throws it from that, it's not going to be what it was. Pressure in his face, doesn't back down, boom. Catch and run touchdown. And again, it plays like this are why you look at a guy like Trey Lance and say he's a top 10 pick and say, I want him on my team. There's not a lot of guys who can make a play like this. It's third and five, and it's well covered. Right? It looks like he wants this, and he could throw this. Man coverage, he's crashing down hard. You know, could very well be tackle, boom, punt. Everything else is covered. They're, they're sticks concept. Sticks. Run to the line. Let's get something at the line. No, it's well covered. So he's going to start off left. Step out of the way of pressure. Doesn't like what he sees. Avoids a free rush. And finds a guy wide open down the field for a touchdown. Just absolutely phenomenal stuff. Let's just watch it one more time. This is why you draft a guy... In the first round, despite limited reps, you know, and experience, because he can do things like this. He can get experience from experience, but you can't teach him how to do this. If he can't do it, he can't do it. Just awesome, awesome stuff, man. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. Ability. He keeps his eyes downfield when things, you know, uh, fall apart. He doesn't always just look to run. He's, he's a very good runner, but he keeps his eyes downfield first before deciding to run, and I really like that. Third and 10, now we're in 2020, the one game against Central Arkansas, and you hate to miss this throw. Just wide open, defender falls down. So again, it's another slot fade. Fade route. This is, he's just running. Boom, fading outside. Wide open, and you, you hate to see it. Uh, you know, early in the game, so shaking off some of the rust, and you're going to see a bit of wasted space here. There's pressure. There's pressure, and you're going to see just a half second wasted here by Trey Lance that I think could ultimately have made the difference. He has to speed everything up. But you're going to see him take this drop, and I want you to see this little hop step he takes back before taking his official three-step drop right there. Let me, let me play it again. Let's try this again. So it's going to be right there. He takes a step, a false step back. Right, You're going to see his left foot go and then go. With the one, two, three. And really what you want is just one, two, three. So what you want is one, two, three and done. But what you get is hop, false step, one, two, three. And then that that's what forces him to rush more than if he goes one, two, three. And he's at the top of his drop and he's stepping up and throwing it now. So the slight, slight things that can matter. You don't want to take that false step. It's unnecessary. You just don't have to. Just go... Boom, back, back, back. 
and maybe this is just some of the rust. We didn't see this, at least not downfield a ton. We saw cleaner footwork. Boom. So, yeah, just the little things matter there. One more time. One, two, three. He's late. Ball is overthrown. Mechanics would fix all that up. Fourth quarter down by three. First and ten taking a shot down the field. Single high. And, man, this should have been caught. <laughs> this is a, again, when he misses downfield, he always makes sure to make up for it with the with the perfect, awesome throw. And it doesn't get more perfect than this throw right here. This should be a touchdown. I mean, look at this. That should be a touchdown. Off the play action, easy, you know, easy read. Two or three man read, two man route downfield. So you've got eight in protection. Again, against single high, you've got either one. Just pick your poison. The field is too wide. The safety can't get there. A perfect throw. Play action, get it around. And now he's, you know, in a bit of a rhythm. He throws this ball with good rhythm and timing. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. No hesitation, no false steps. No, uh, almost said hesitation again. No hesitation, no false steps, no messing around, just throwing that ball, and it's just perfect. Should be a touchdown.